Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American gladiators. Watch this. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. Of men who sit there in violation of the United States Constitution. If you think I will cooperate with you in any way, you are insane. Got some uh, post office workers working hard, getting ready to load up their mail and then get on out. We're in Anniston, Alabama. It's about 10 a.m. Looks like everybody's getting ready to go out on their routes here. This is the U.S. Post Office here in Anniston, Alabama. All right, we're not allowed to be filming filming government property like this. That's what it says. Yeah. All right, guys, you got to go road, but not allowed to be filming government property. Uh oh, we got we got a box head to the left. Lady's hiding her head with a box. Every every time I see that at the post office, I call them box heads. Box head. guy's taking off but he's empty maybe he's pulling around to get loaded up yeah he rolled his car down the back of the post office i guess he's gonna pull his vehicle over there we don't have to roll his car all the way out here all right looks like that gentleman got back to work he's loading up his truck so
All right, guys, we got a whole to-do out here. We got the whole crew out here. This is the best time to get to the post office right here when everything is hustling and bustling. We can see how these people operate, see how they do their job. Because remember, we're, we're, we're looking to catch these folks in the course of their duty. We want to see them in their natural environment, which is hopefully working. So... gentleman in the hat is still trying to explain it. I'm not sure what he's trying to explain. I know his legal um, his legal knowledge consists of CSI, so Alright buddy, get back to work, she says. <laughs> All right, guys, the time is now. Now's the time. We're going to head on inside and see what the inside of this facility looks like. It's a big facility, it looks like. Two stories. Again, we are in Anniston, Alabama. Calhoun County. Pretty quaint little county just south of uh, Gadsden and um, they've been pretty uh, pretty good to us so far here in town. We've been to the county commission building, we've been to city hall, haven't had any issues yet, so that's a good thing. Post offices are always iffy. Foundation, right? So, first things first, I'm gonna come on in here and
Nice. Yeah. Too bad she can't do anything with it. <laughs> well, the lobby's almost completely empty. That's nice. I like when the lobby's empty. I oh, yeah. deal with a whole bunch of idiots. Oh, we're good. We're just right. checking out the facility. All right. Look all right, Gio? Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> every every post office is different. You know, some are uh, historic. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the ones that have the murals painted on the walls. It's, I have not. No? I, I was up in Connecticut, and they commissioned an artist like 50 years ago to do these murals on the wall just amazing it, you know it tells yeah it tells the story of the community that's a whaling community yeah. you know back in the day they used to do whales and stuff so it was really and like that when we went in and uh walton county yeah and all the marble and the steel the metal oh know, yeah the yeah old, for the old 1930 was, post offices the 30s yeah so all of them are like that if you ever get a chance to see them have you ever been to the one down in birmingham i have yep that one, that one's pretty nice it is it is yeah it is well that's that's also got that main distribution center too, so even behind the right. scenes. Yep. Uh, I'm sure y'all want me to go, but I mean, we we go over there for training and stuff, and like uh, upstairs is where they do all that training, and they have some really cool like old post office stuff. Like you know, they'll have like old uh, just like blue boxes. Oh, okay. Uh, they have one up there that's for I guess back when Star Wars was coming out, the day there was a promotion thing. It's like R two D two styled up and everything. Whoa, nice. that's probably worth a lot of cash. Yeah. And then just like over and like you walk through the hallways and all the cases there's just a bunch of like old stuff that you can see all right there and stuff like that yeah what yes kind of, what kind of training did you guys do i mean when you go to training like uh it was like it was training on how to use these right here okay just like uh um, orientation and stuff like that and do you deliver mail also um not anymore i used to is it hard to i guess figure out your route or learn your route because when like when our mail lady comes and she's got this big box and I'm like how in the world do you it's, you know um, I guess what am I trying to say how do you um, put it in order of the addresses instead of having to dig through the entire box trying to find one two three ABC Street or seven eight nine Z XYZ Street hey, that's the biggest thing that I was always telling people when I was training them when I was carrying was uh, organization is the best thing it's your best friend um, before we leave the office, we prep everything and like the case and it has everything up there. Uh, so we like put everything up in that case, get everything ready. And then when it comes to packages and stuff like that, what we do is just put little markers in there. Right. Or just like little small like plastic placards, stuff like that. Okay. So you know that there's a bigger mean, package for that address? Yeah, one color may mean like a big package, another color may mean it'll just fit the small, it's a small one, it'll fit right in the okay. box right here. And then from there, when you're loading up your truck, you just organize everything so that whatever works for you. Yeah, we saw them around back loading. Yeah, we were watching them load up the yeah, back. So that's that. Yeah, that's interesting. But have you, have you ever? Let like, me look at this stuff over yeah, here. That's pretty neat. I looked at that. But have you ever uh, like been on your route and got to the very end of your route and thought you were done and looked back and thought, oh man, I've got uh, something and had to go like way back to the start of your route. You know, like well, a lot of times the start and the finish are kind of either right next to each other or something like that, just depending on the route, because you're like, you'll start down here, and then you'll come up, and then you'll hit that turn around. Kind of make like a horseshoe. Yeah, okay. that's, that's how a lot of them are. Um, okay. Except, you know, of course, it's hitting all the side streets. Right, and, right. And sometimes it's just kind of like big circles, but all around the same general. Well, the reason why I like that is because yeah. our mail lady delivered our mail one day, and of course, you know, she went on her route. About two hours later, two and a half hours later, she come and her horn. I'm like, who's blowing the horn in my driveway? You know, so I, we live on the very end of a dead end road, and there's only one way in, one way out. And I thought, who in the world is it, you know, here? And I look out the door, and it's her. It's and she comes it walking up and says, I forgot to give you this package. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like, the placards will fall out. Right. Even, like, when you're prepping, it'll fall out. And right. when it falls out, it's like, I don't know where that went. Well, see, I told her, I said, look, you, you know, you didn't have to come all the way back down here today. You could have delivered it tomorrow when you yeah, were doing yeah. your regular route. 
Yeah. That old, that old post office. Oh. That old post office. I think that's the district court now. This it's one. The, right? Yeah, I think we drove right by it. Right. Here. Okay. Tenth and Noble. Well, it's now Twelfth and Noble. Okay. He paid thirty-eight hundred bucks for that building. <laughs> oh wow! On what? Nineteen oh one. Nineteen oh one. Paid thirty-eight hundred dollars for that big building. 